this is Gretchen from the Avondale Civic Center Library. Welcome to More to Explore. More to Explore is a program for ages 6 to 12. In More to Explore, we will learn, create, and share. Tune in every week for new activities. Last week's Brain Teaser asked, A box holds a vicious rat and a diamond. The diamond is safely removed. How? The answer is the box was turned upside down, which made the rat and the diamond fall out, and the rat ran away. I want to show you a new type of puzzle this week. They are called position puzzles, and that's because the words or letters depend on the position of where they are on the paper to make a phrase or a word. Sometimes it depends on what color they are or how big they are or small they are. So for example, this one is two thumbs up, and that's because there are two of the word thumb, and they're pointing up. See if you can figure out this one. Welcome to More to Explore. Today we're going to be making string art in the shape of a heart, so string heart. What you're going to need is a piece of blank paper, a pen, cardboard, mine's already cut, but yours will be a rectangle of cardboard, scissors, and then the yarn from your kit. So most of you have probably made a paper heart before where I'm going to fold my paper in half. And then along the crease, I'm going to draw a heart. So I don't need a ginormous heart. I'm just going to make, so I'm doing half a heart. So not the whole one because when I cut it, so here's my half heart. When I cut it, then the whole heart will be showing. So here's my, okay. So I have my heart. Mine looks like I might want it to be a little deeper of a cut right here, so I'm just gonna fix that. And your heart can look however you would like. Here's my heart. What I need to do next is get a piece of cardboard and I'm going to trace around the heart. Because once I've traced the heart, then I'm going to cut out the cardboard. Okay, I'm gonna cut the cardboard and I will have my heart shape. You'll notice mine has little notches so what happened was I went and drew lines, tried to be um, the equal part, equal distance apart. They don't have to be perfect though. And then all I did was went in and cut a little notch. And that is important because when I go to thread my yarn across my heart, I need to make sure that it's going to hold my yarn. Okay? so. Cut out your cardboard heart, make our little V notches, and then you're ready for the yarn. There are many ways that you can make your string art or yarn art. Um, you get to decide what it's going to look like, but essentially, you need to hold with your thumb until we get the yarn anchored on the heart. So I'm holding here, I have it going through one of the notches on the top, and then going down to the bottom, and then around. That way, now I don't have to hold my yarn. I can do every single notch to every other one. I could go multiple from the same one. Again, it doesn't matter. It's how you want your heart to look. So you can play with it. And the nice thing is it's always reusable. So if you don't like how your pattern comes out, just take the yarn off and start again. If you have other yarn at home, you can do multiple colors. You get to decide what your heart looks like. Normally, string art is done with nails, 
that are in a board that you use to anchor the string. But we are using this easier way because not everyone has access to board and nails. Um, so this is a nice way because most people have a cardboard box around the house or can get one. Even if you don't have like a big cardboard box, you could use like a cracker box or something that food was in. Make sure the food is obviously not in there. But once it's done, you could use a cereal box or whatever you want to use for that to give you some cardboard. And then you are making your own design on your heart. So you get to decide when it's done. You only have a certain amount of yarn, but if I wanted to keep going to make this look more solid, I could. I kind of like the way it looks right now. And so I could stop whenever I'd like to also. If you don't like uh, the cardboard look behind it, you can always paint your heart. That way it's a different color behind the string or the yarn. Also, if you don't like what the front looks like, check out the back because it might look a little bit different and you might like that side. So have fun with your string heart and you can always give it to someone that you love to show them that you're thinking of them for Valentine's Day. Little Oink is a piglet who likes things neat and tidy. Before he can go out to play, he has to finish his chores, which include making a giant mess in his room. This is tough because all Little Oink wants to do is keep his room clean. See if this tidy piglet can turn his room into a pigsty in Little Oink. Belly Up by Stuart Gibbs is a funny mystery that is action-packed. Teddy spends his days at the Fun Jungle because both of his parents work there. Fun Jungle is like Disney World, but in zoo form. Instead of a mouse for a mascot, they have a huge, smelly, grumpy hippo named Henry. When Henry is found dead in his habitat, Teddy overhears that he has been murdered. A murdered hippo would be bad press. So when the zoo covers up the mysterious death, Teddy decides to investigate. Soon the killer starts targeting Teddy. Can he solve the mystery while staying out of danger? Find out in Belly Up, which is the first in the series of fun jungle books by Stuart Gibbs.